quick tutorial video here showing you how you can make your own thumb jam instruments from wave uh, samples. I downloaded some samples here from this waveformless blog. These are free samples you can download. And I've got a number of them here. I'm going to grab these whirly samples here. And I've got uh, octave C, or I've got the C note from octave 2 to 4. And I've got some F notes that I can use. What you want here are um, samples with, that are sampled across multiple octaves. So, uh, without further ado, I've got these samples downloaded. I'm going to open iFunbox. I've already got this connected to my iPad here. And I'm going to browse over to Thumb Jam, and I'm going to go down to the uh, folder, subfolder, under App Data, Sample Sets. And I'm just going to go ahead and drag these samples into that folder. And they should be in there. That's all you have to do on the uh, laptop side of things. Now let's move over to the iPad. I'm going to show you how you can create an instrument with these. In Thumb Jam, what you want to do, once you've got these, uh, these WAV files imported, is I'm going to go to Sound and Create Instrument. And I'll bring up this little dialog box here. The default here is to record from the microphone, but if you look down towards the bottom, You'll see you can import some samples. I'm going to click on Import New. And right up here at the top are all five of these samples that I just imported. And I've clicked on all five of those. I've got them highlighted. And I'm going to click Import. Now it's going to bring up this dialog box here. And I can see here's all five of the samples that I just imported. If I click on one of these, it uh, brings up a number of options here. The default, once you've imported them, is unlooped. You can change that to looped. If you uh, do that, you need to set the start, the looping point, and where the looping stops. So you can play around with that if you want. I'm not going to do that here because it takes some time to find those points. But I've got all five of these imported, and you can see. With these particular WAV files, I've already got the notes correctly assigned here. Uh, here's C4, C3, oops, that was not. Let's see, this should be C2, C3, C4, F2. and F3. So this, uh, these WAV files are already labeled with the correct notes, but if you, if your WAV files that you're using aren't labeled, then you're going to have to fi figure out what notes they are before you can do this. And then lastly, I'm going to name this, I'll call it Whirly. And then you can select a category. I'll select uh, keyboard. And then click done. And that should be it. You should have your instrument all ready to go. Now, um, you might want to play around with, since I'm starting with uh, C, the C2 note, play around with the spread on the octaves here so that you have a the correct range for your samples. That's all there is to that. Once you uh, have created the new instrument, you can go in and, and click this edit button in the bottom corner and um, 
if I go into, I can go back into my samples. So here's Whirly, this is what I named it. Uh, you also have the, some options here for, you know, setting the legato. If you want legato, if your samples have a particularly strong attack, you might want to uh, tone those down a little bit by using legato. And then if you go into the samples, um, again, here's Whirly that I created. And um, you can set the uh, legato start point. But you, have to, you have to do that on each uh, sample individually. Um, I don't think it, I'm going to set that because I don't really need it. But if you uh, want to mess around with that with your samples, you can. But that's about it. Oh, and uh, again, under Edit, you can um, save your preset. You can resave it. Uh, for instance, if I uh, if I want to set up. Um, a split keyboard mode. I want to add, you know, a, a second split. Now I can go back in and save that, resave the preset, and, and next time I bring it up, I'll have that um, that split keyboard on there. Uh, you might want to change uh, the, the key you're in, etc., etc., and then uh, just go ahead and resave that. And you should be good. So that's uh, just a brief overview on how to do that.